Hi, I'm Lisa Gervais from the Elsa product team, and in this video, I'm going to show you how editors and authors can edit their table of contents. It's important to note that only editors, authors, and content managers have permission to edit the TOC, not contributors. In this video, I'm only going to talk about how to edit your table of contents. For more information on how to invite contributors to your project, see the video titled How to Add Contributors. If you're working on a monograph, see the video titled How to Add Yourself as a Contributor to Monograph Titles. The table of contents is managed directly in ELSA, not through spreadsheets or other external documents, and must be built first before anyone can start writing in your project. Usually, your table of contents will have been created for you before you start your project by an Elsevier staff member. The first thing you should do as an editor or an author is go to your project's table of contents and check that your table of contents looks good to you. You can edit the table of contents throughout the project timeline, so the table of contents does not need to be final at this point. To get to your table of contents, go to the table of contents tab in your project. Only one person can edit the table of contents at a time, and you need to click on edit in order to start editing your table of contents or inviting contributors. It's important to remember that before any changes you made to the table of contents take effect, you must click on publish and invite. Elsa auto numbers the TOC and you can change your auto numbering preferences at any time by clicking on the gear symbol in the top toolbar. You can choose from a number of TOC structure options as well as unit or part numbering in Arabic or Roman numerals. When you're done, don't forget to click set. There are a few ways you can add new chapters to your TOC. The first is by clicking this Add Chapter icon on the top toolbar. You can add one chapter or multiple chapters, just make sure each chapter name is on its own line. You can also copy and paste chapter names from a Word document into this field. If you have contributors to add at this point, you can toggle Yes here and Elsa will walk you through adding the same contributor to all new chapters. Otherwise, see the video How to Add Contributors for more information on how to add contributors. Click Add and your chapter or chapters will appear. Another way to add a chapter is by clicking on the More Options menu in the TOC. Then follow the same procedure I just showed you. I also have a few ways I can move chapters around. There is no drag and drop option for moving chapters, but you can use the toolbar, keyboard shortcuts, and the more options menu. First, I'll start by selecting a chapter I want to move. Then I'll go to the top toolbar. You can see that by hovering over the icons, I know what action it is, and I can see the keyboard shortcut. In this case, I can move up, move down, and move within. What move within means is that I want to move that chapter within a unit or a section. I'll select move down, and you can see my chapter is moving down in the TOC. You'll notice that ELSA is automatically renumbering the chapters, so I don't have to do that manually. You can also select multiple chapters and move them in bulk. 
Try out different ways to move chapters around to see which way you're most comfortable with. The top toolbar, keyboard shortcuts, or from the more options menu. To edit the name of a chapter, click on the More Options menu, and then choose Edit Name. Edit the name, and then click Update. Before you delete a chapter, it's important to remember that you cannot recover that chapter after you delete it. ELSA will warn you before you delete a chapter, and ELSA will also warn you if you are deleting a chapter someone is currently editing. Click on the chapter you would like to delete, and then click on the delete icon from the top toolbar. Once you're sure you'd like to delete the chapter, click on Yes, Delete. You can also delete a chapter by clicking on the More Options menu, clicking on Delete, and following the same procedure as before. Again, it's important to remember that none of the changes you have made while the TOC is in private will take effect until you click on Publish and Invite. So to finalize all the changes I've just made, I'll click on Publish and Invite. If you need more help while working in ELSA, go to the help icon in the upper right corner of your screen where you can find webinar recordings, search FAQs, or contact an ELSA user support specialist. Mm -hmm.